This is Fitness Blender's Toning and Balance Workout for Beginners. For this routine, we're going to be doing one round through of eight different exercises. Should take us around 15 minutes. You're going to need a physio ball and an exercise mat for this routine. Let's go ahead and get started with the first exercise. We're going to be doing ice skaters. This is a single leg balance move. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Starting on that left leg, lift your right leg directly in front of your body just a few inches off the floor. Then slowly bring it in a nice half circle around to the back of your body so it's pointing directly behind you. And then slowly bring it back in front again. Now begin with your foot only a few inches off the ground, bring it back and forth. Then as you get more and more comfortable with the motion, start trying to raise that leg higher and higher. Not only will this make it more difficult for balance, but it'll also make it more difficult for the muscles involved in that motion. Take your time moving that leg from in front of your body to behind. The slower you go, the easier it can be for that balance. Also, it's going to make those muscles have to work a little bit harder, that hip flexor, those quadriceps, that outside thigh, for trying to move that leg from in front to behind. Almost done, just one more repetition. Bring that leg back behind you, then slowly back up in front, and let it relax. We're gonna switch legs, we're gonna do the same exact motion on the opposite leg. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Remember, lift that leg just a few inches off the ground to begin with, nice and slow, bring it back behind you, slowly back in front, making a half circle out to your side, as you become more comfortable, lift that leg higher and higher. Your eventual goal is to try to keep that ankle up at hip height the entire time. So you start with it directly in front of that hip, bring it out to the side, keeping it as high as you can, then slowly bringing it back around behind you, keeping it up as high as possible without letting your chest tilt forward too much. You want to try to keep it straight up and down as you can. Now just keep that motion going under control, nice and slow, keeping that leg up as high as possible, Got quite a few more to do. We're almost done, just one more repetition. All the way back behind you, then nice and slow back up in front and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the single leg deadlifts. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Standing on one leg with that leg pretty much locked out, you can have a little bit of a bend in that knee, but not much. Nice and slow, tip straight over forward, trying to keep a straight line from your shoulder all the way down to the ankle of the other leg that you're lifting. Reaching down towards the ground in front of that toe, then nice and slow, stand back up. Try not to let that opposite leg, the one you're lifting, actually touch the ground. If you need to, just a little bit of a tap at the bottom to kind of help you regain your balance, and then right back up again. Now as you get comfortable with this and this becomes easier for you, you can always make this more difficult by using a dumbbell. That dumbbell not only makes it harder for that hamstring and glute and lower back to do the work, but also makes it much more difficult for that balance as it changes your center of gravity quite a bit more as you tip forward. Almost done, just one more repetition. And slowly back up and let it relax. All right, we're gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side, so switch those legs. Get ready and begin. Again, same thing on the opposite side, so that right leg is going to be down, that left leg is going to be one coming up behind you. Again, try to keep a straight line from that shoulder all the way back to that leg. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but you want to use that leg as a little bit of counterbalance, keeping it nice and straight back behind you. Now also remember to try to keep that right leg as straight as possible, as straight as is comfortable. You can bend that knee a little bit as you need to, but try to keep it as straight as you can.
Almost done, just one more repetition. Nice and slow back up, and let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is a single leg overhead pass. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. With one leg up off the ground, just a couple of inches or so, you'll be standing on the opposite leg, crossing a weight back and forth over top of your head. Now here we're using a medicine ball. I didn't put this on the uh, required equipment because you don't necessarily need to use a medicine ball. You could use a dumbbell, you could use a bottle of water, it doesn't matter. The only reason why I'm using a medicine ball is because it makes it just a little bit more difficult to control that weight. So you actually have to use some motor skill in your hand and in your wrist and your forearm more so than you would if you were using, say, like a dumbbell. Just adds a little more challenge to it. Now keep in mind the amount of weight you're using here, no matter what you're using, whether it's a medicine ball or, or a dumbbell, that's what's going to have the most effect on how difficult this is for balance. The heavier the weight, the harder it's going to be because that center of gravity is going to shift a lot more. Now we're almost done, just a few more repetitions. Slowly bring it back down, go ahead and let it relax right there. We're going to switch legs, do the same thing with that opposite leg off the ground. And start it again. There are nice, slow, fluid motions. Just trying to keep that leg up just a few inches off the ground. You just don't want it to touch. You don't have to keep it real high. Slowly bringing that, that dumbbell or that medicine ball directly over your head, switching it off to the other side and back. You want those arms coming straight out from your sides. You don't want to let those arms come in front of your chest at all or in front of your torso. We're almost done, just cross that ball back over. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one, the single leg head nods. This sounds really easy, but it's actually quite difficult. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now with that leg just hovering a few inches off the ground, you're gonna slowly look to your left, look up, look down, Slowly back across to the opposite side, and then look up, look down, and back across. Just keep moving back and forth. Try to keep yourself as stable as possible. Now these calves are already nice and tired. That ankle and that hips can be tired from all these exercises we've done before. This actually becomes a pretty challenging exercise. Now just continue to concentrate on that motion, keeping everything as stationary as still as possible as that head moves back and forth and up and down. Just concentrate on that motion. Keep it nice and smooth and under control. All right, we're almost done. One more on the other side. And let it relax. All right, we're gonna do the same exact motion on that opposite leg. So go ahead and get ready to start again. So now with that opposite leg up off the ground, look off to the side, look down, look up, slowly back across the opposite side, look down, look up, and back again. Just keep that motion going back and forth, nice and slow, under control. Almost done, just one more on the other side. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the Kneeling Superman. Go 
go ahead and get ready and begin. Now kneeling on one knee and one hand, you're going to bring your opposite arm and leg up off the ground as high as you can and pause. If it's really easy for you, then just shift that hand and knee a little bit closer together and do it again. Nice and slow, bring them up, slowly back down, readjust if it was easy, and start again. Now the closer that hand and knee come together, the harder it's going to be, but the main thing that's going to make it more difficult is the more in line they are. So you go from uh, un that hand directly underneath your shoulder and that knee directly underneath that hip, then as you bring them into the center line of your body, so that as that hand moves in underneath your neck, and as that knee moves in underneath your belly button, that's where it starts really getting difficult. This is your last one. Go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch arms and legs. Bring that opposite arm and leg up and start again. Nice slow raise. Pause the top. And then nice and slow let them back down. Readjust to make it harder if you need to and then start again. Now remember the closer that hand and knee come in together, the closer they are and the more in line they are, the harder this exercise is going to get. This can actually become incredibly difficult if you bring that hand and knee really close together. Is your last one right here, nice and slow, bring them up. Freeze it. And let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the Physio Ball Superman. So it looks a little weird, but it's actually really good for balance. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So laying out completely flat on a physio ball, you're going to very slowly lift your arms and legs off the ground at the same time. Now you're going to have to use those arms and legs for balance the entire time, so they're going to have to kind of move around on you a little bit. If you completely lose your balance, just touch back down, regain, and then lift those arms and legs right back up off the ground. Now you're trying to do this for a total amount of time as opposed to a total number of repetitions, so try to get those arms and legs up in the air and hold them there as long as you possibly can, touching down for as short amount of time as possible. Five seconds left, and let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the alternating rotational lunge. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Step straight forward in a traditional lunge, then pause at the bottom as low as you can control, then rotate those shoulders left and right as far as you possibly can, then slowly come back up, Dropping right back into another lunge with that opposite leg. Doing that rotation again and coming back up. Now this is already relatively difficult for balance, but if you want to make it more difficult, you can always use a medicine ball or a dumbbell in between those hands. That extra weight just shifts your center of gravity even more, makes it more difficult for balance. Also, if you want to make it more difficult, you can bring those feet more in line. So the closer they are to a straight line from one foot to the next, it's harder uh, for that overall balance. You have a smaller st uh, stance, so it makes that balance much more difficult. The wider those feet go, the easier it's going to be for that balance. Now just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Just got a few more repetitions to go. Here's your last one right here. Nice slow rotation. Come back up and let it relax. All right, our next one are the agility dots. This is our last exercise of the round. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now you're gonna be jumping on a square pattern of dots, doing an X pattern across those dots. So it's gonna be jumping diagonally forward, then directly sideways, then diagonally backwards, and directly sideways again to that opposite corner of that square. So you're gonna do this in one rotation. We're gonna switch here in just a second. Reverse that direction of that square and start it up again. Now keep in mind that jumping to every corner of that square is going to be one repetition. So you make a full revolution through that square and that's one time through. 
Almost done. And let it relax right there. All right, good job. You just finished Fitness Blender's Toning and Balance Workout for Beginners.